Welcome everybody to Unfiltered. Pastor David, welcome. Thank you. I got my phone out so I can call you. Oh, hey, hello. <laughs> See you later, John. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> I have a scripture I'm going to share in a moment. Okay. Well, I want to I want to introduce everybody to the question that uh, we have in light of everything that's going on in the Middle East is, Pastor, what, what should Christians be doing in the light of all this turmoil and warfare in the Middle East? You know, I think that um, one of the things we normally think of as Americans and, and as men, I'll be honest with you, is what, what are we to be doing? And we always think in terms of what we're to be doing, but it's usually in terms of like what kind of physical help can we give or what kind of uh, advice or whatever. It's, it's, it's usually wrapped up in something that through our efforts we might be able to achieve a difference. So what is the first thing we to do, I think a lot of times people think, well, the first thing you should do is do something. Well, the do something for me is to do what I've been asked to do. We received a a request. I've received more than one request from Israel from friends um, and uh, people who serve there and all um, to to pray, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. You know, we need to remember that God's in charge. God, God has his hand on all of us, John. None of this is a surprise. We certainly cannot rely on the, um, on the government. We, 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 can't, we, we cannot rely on uh, our, our government. In, in some ways, I think that we are actually um, em, emboldening the, the enemies of Israel mm -hmm. because of their perception of our of our government as it stands right now, as those who are political officials who represent the United States, even if we didn't vote for them, um, they perceive them as being weak and and vacillating. And 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 when you when you insist that that um, that we have to step back and watch this for a while, uh, I've heard people say it, it's echoes of what took place in. Nazi Germany, where the United States had a, and a, let's step back and see, well, well, Jewish people were being slaughtered, where we were refusing to allow them entrance into, into uh, other countries. They were they were being refused entrance into other countries, countries where they could have, I believe, including our own, could have been given safe ha safe haven. And so, what what are we to do? Well, we need to pray. We need to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We need to pray. That, that God will deliver them, that, that God will be with them. Um, because we as, as Christians uh, realize, even as Paul taught the Roman church, that we have been grafted into mm -hmm. the vine. Mm -hmm. we, we are spiritually engrafted. And, and people who don't understand that, don't, they don't read the Bible. I mean, we are spiritually engrafted in Israel. Not only that, but we have uh, much to owe them. We, we, from Israel came our Savior, came the Scriptures. Um, it, we ought to be prepared to be of help. Even when, when the uh, the Jerusalem church in the early days of the church was going through difficulty, the the Greek churches, the Macedonian churches, uh, uh, Achaia, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and to the north, they 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 um, they sent money to to help the poor. They, they they owed them that. And Paul says in the book of Romans that uh, we've received of their spiritual, therefore we ought to be quick to provide the material. And, and that may be in context of the church, but there's also a, um, an association and love for the nation itself that produced the Messiah, Jesus Christ. And so what should we do? We need to pray for them. We need to be there for them in whatever way we can. And we need to remember who's in charge. I, I received this. I wanted to read this. It's uh, out of Amos chapter 1, verses 6 and 7. For three transgressions of Gaza and for four, I will not revoke the punishment because they carried into exile a whole people to deliver them to Edomites. So I will send uh, upon uh, the wall of Gaza a fire and it shall devour her strongholds. Wow. Amos 1, 6 and 7. And so uh, when it's all said and done, done, we know the one who watches over Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. We know that God is in charge. We know that God is behind the scenes. He will take care of, his, uh, of uh, the people of Israel. And what should we do? 
uh, we should be praying for them quite seriously. We should we should uh, tell people to pray for them. This Sunday, uh, when when we showed the uh, video of uh, from uh, David Tal, one of the brothers there in in uh, Israel, asking, please pray for us and remember the world is going to blame us and say that we started this. We did not start this. Uh, I believe it was you, John, who told me that somebody had gotten up and when I was that was being played, saying this is nonsense and walked out. Now, that's a person who doesn't read his Bible. That's a person who has no clue what's going on, who doesn't know the atrocities. Just today I was hearing about babies that were being found, their bodies on the side of the road with their heads cut off. We are not dealing with, with uh, people. We are dealing with savages, yes. and they will not stop until they destroy Israel. We need to be firm in prayer and very supportive of our nation. You know, this is one place that I am fully support, supportive of, of helping you know, these issues over Ukraine and all of these mythical things that relate to that and the billions that are being poured in, that, that doesn't affect us. This does. And we need to learn from Israel too, by the way, because they have, in, they have strengthened their border and still terrorists have gotten in. And we're letting millions of people in, including hundreds of known terrorists here. What is being planned for the United States right, right now, John? We need to be alert and we need to be aware. And this Sunday, one of my friends is going to take my Sunday morning for me and he's going to share a study related to a biblical perspective of what's going on and answer to that question. Amen. Well, thank you, Pastor. And we will continue to pray, pray church families. You heard from our own Pastor David that we're to pray. If you were here on Sunday, you would see that we were also asked to pray. And so uh, let's make it a point that we pray for the nation of Israel and our friends and family. And Pastor, thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Looking forward to see you at 830 and 1045 this Sunday. Uh, actually, I'm jumping ahead of myself, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Come join us as you're taking us through Romans chapter, chapter uh, 15. 15. Going to close 15. Oh, okay. Well, come and join us. We look forward to having you guys. God bless you.